An aviation accident is defined by the Convention on International Civil Aviation and X-13 as an occurrence associated with the operation of an aircraft, which takes place between the time any person boards the aircraft with the intention of flight until all such persons have disembarked, where a person is fatally or seriously injured, the aircraft sustains damage or structural failure or the aircraft is missing or is completely inaccessible. The first fatal aviation accident occurred in a Wright Model A aircraft at Fort Myer, Virginia, USA, on September 17, 1908, resulting in injury to the pilot, Orville Wright and death of the passenger, Signal Corps Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge. An aviation incident is defined as an occurrence, other than an accident, associated with the operation of an aircraft that affects or could affect the safety of operations. An accident in which the damage to the aircraft is such that it must be written off, or in which the plane is destroyed is a hull loss accident. Major Disasters Tenerife, the Tenerife disaster, which happened on March 27, 1977, remains the accident with the highest number of airliner passenger fatalities. 583 people died when a KLM Boeing 747 attempted to take off without clearance and collided with a taxiing Pan Am 747 at Los Rodeos Airport on the Canary Island of Tenerife, Spain. There were no survivors from the KLM aircraft. 61 of the 396 passengers and crew on the Pan Am aircraft survived. Pilot error was the primary cause. Due to a communication misunderstanding, the KLM captain thought he had clearance for takeoff. Another cause was dense fog meaning the KLM flight crew was unable to see the Pan Am aircraft on the runway until immediately prior to the collision. The accident had a lasting influence on the industry, particularly in the area of communication. An increased emphasis was placed on using standardized phraseology and air traffic control communication by both controllers and pilots alike, thereby reducing the chance for misunderstandings. As part of these changes, the word takeoff was removed from general usage, and is only spoken by ATC when actually clearing an aircraft to take off. JAL Flight 123, the crash of Japan Airlines Flight 123 on August 12, 1985 is the single aircraft disaster with the highest number of fatalities, 520 died on board a Boeing 747. The aircraft suffered an explosive decompression from an incorrectly repaired aft pressure bulkhead, which failed in mid-flight, destroying most of its vertical stabilizer and severing all of the hydraulic lines, making the 747 virtually uncontrollable. Pilots were able to keep the plane flying for 20 minutes after departure before crashing into a mountain. Remarkably, several people survived, but by the time the Japanese rescue teams arrived at the crash site, all but four had succumbed to their injuries. Other crashes with high death tolls by date, on July 17, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur with 298 people on board was reported as brought down by a surface-to-air missile in an area of eastern Ukraine near the Ukraine-Russian border. Three days later the international inspectors finally reached the crash site after being held back by Russian separatists controlling the area. No survivors have been reported following this accident. There were 283 passengers, including three infants, and 15 crew members on board MH17. The crew were all Malaysian, while the 283 passengers were of various nationalities, the majority of them from the Netherlands. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 flying from Kuala Lumpur to China, diverted and disappeared with 239 people on board. On June 1, 2009, Air France Flight 447 was a scheduled international flight from Galia Pound O International Airport in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to Charles de Gaulle International Airport in Paris, France when the Airbus A330-203 airliner serving the flight stalled and crashed into the Atlantic Ocean resulting in the deaths of all 216 passengers and 12 aircrew. The accident was the deadliest in the history of Air France. It was also the Airbus A330's second and deadliest fatal accident, and its first while in commercial passenger service. On July 17, 2007, in the Congonhazar Pound O Paulo Airport, 
TAM Airlines Flight 3054, an Airbus A320, did not slow down as it landed. It could not stop in time and overran the runway, hitting a petrol station and a TAM warehouse and killing 199 people. On November 12, 2001, American Airlines Flight 587, an Airbus A300, crashed in the Bell Harbor neighborhood of Queens, New York, just after departing John F. Kennedy International Airport bound for Las Armas Copyright Ricas International Airport, Santo Domingo. The first officer's overuse of the rudder in response to wake turbulence from a Japan Airlines 747 was cited as cause. The crash killed all 260 people on board, as well as five people on the ground. It is the second deadliest aviation accident on U.S. soil, after American Airlines Flight 191. On July 25, 2000, Air France Flight 4590 Euro a Concord Euro crashed resulting in the death of 109 people on board as well as four on the ground. Although Concorde jets had a very good safety record with no previous crashes, this event was the beginning of the end for the aircraft. The high-prestige supersonic plane was retired from service by both British Airways and Air France in 2003. The official finding traced the cause of the fuel tank rupture to the plane's impact with an aircraft part on the runway that had fallen off a previously departed airliner. On October 31, 1999, around 1.50 Eastern Standard Time, Egypt Air Flight 990 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean, about 60 miles south of Nantucket Island, Massachusetts, killing all 217 people on board. The National Transportation Safety Board report concluded the first officer intentionally dove the aircraft into the ocean. Egyptian authorities have vigorously denied this conclusion saying a mechanical failure was to blame. On September 2, 1998, Swiss Air Flight 111 crashed into St. Margaret's Bay, nearby Halifax, Nova Scotia, killing all 229 people on board. Fire had broken out in the cockpit. The plane disintegrated upon impact with the water. On August 6, 1997, a 747 operated by Korean Air's Flight 801 crashed into Nimitz Hill, Guam, killing 228 people with 26 survivors. The accident was caused by a premature descent below minimum safe altitude, because the captain failed to properly brief and conduct a non-precision approach in the required manner. On November 12, 1996, the world's deadliest mid-air collision was the 1996 Charki Dadri mid-air collision involving Saudi Air Flight 763 and Air Kazakhstan Flight 1907 over Haryana, India. The crash was mainly the result of the Kazakh pilot flying lower than the assigned clearance altitude. All 349 passengers and crew on board both aircraft died. The Ramesh Chandra Lahoti Commission, empowered to study the causes, recommended the creation of air corridors to prevent aircraft from flying in opposite directions at the same altitude. The civil aviation authorities in India made it mandatory for all aircraft flying in and out of India to be equipped with an traffic collision avoidance system, setting a worldwide precedent for mandatory use of TCAS. On July 17, 1996, TWA Flight 800 exploded and crashed into the Atlantic Ocean near East Mauritius, New York 12 minutes after takeoff from John F. Kennedy International Airport, killing all 230 people on board. On May 26, 1991, shortly after takeoff from Bangkok, Lauda Air Flight 004, a Boeing 767-3Z9 named Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, crashed in Thailand. The uncommanded deployment of one of the thrust reversers caused the loss of all 223 passengers, and crew, aboard the 767. On July 11, 1991, Nigeria Airways Flight 2120 had crashed in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia after an in-flight fire, all 261 people are killed, it is the deadliest aviation accident involving a DC-8. On December 21, 1988, Panam Flight 103, a Boeing 747 a Euro 121 bound for New York JFK from London Heathrow with continued service to Detroit was destroyed by a terrorist bomb over the town of Lockerbie, Scotland. The crash killed all 243 passengers and 16 crew, 
and 11 people on the ground, making it the worst terrorist attack involving an aircraft in the UK. This remains the deadliest terrorist attack on British soil. Following the crash, the Federal Aviation Administration imposed new security measures on American airlines flying out of 103 airports in Western Europe and the Middle East. On July 3, 1988, Iran Air Flight 655 was an Iranian civilian airliner shot down by two surface-to-air missiles from the U.S. Navy's guided missile cruiser USS Vincennes over the Strait of Hormuz, killing all 290 passengers and crew aboard, ranking it seventh among the deadliest airline disasters. On June 23, 1985, Air India Flight 182 Boeing 747-237B crashed off the southwest coast of Ireland when a bomb exploded in the cargo hold. All 307 passengers and 22 crew members died. One passenger had checked in as M. Singh. Singh did not board the flight, however, his suitcase containing the bomb was loaded onto the plane. Mr. Singh was never identified and captured. It was later determined Sikh extremists were behind the bombing as a retaliation for the Indian government's attack on the Golden Temple in the city of Amritsar, which is very important for the Sikhs. This was, at the time, the deadliest terrorist attack involving an airplane. On December 12, 1985, a Douglas DC-8, Arrow Air Flight 1285, carrying American military personnel on a charter flight home for Christmas, crashed in Newfoundland killing all 248 passengers and eight crew members. The Canadian Aviation Safety Board investigating the cause of the crash issued two different reports, the majority report cited ice on the wings as cause of the crash. The minority report suggests an explosion was the likely cause. On September 1, 1983, a Soviet interceptor Sukhoi Su-15 shot down Korean Airlines Flight 007 a Boeing 747-230B, after it flew into Soviet airspace, killing all 269 passengers and crew. On August 19, 1980, Saudi Arabian Airlines Flight 163, a Lockheed L-1011 became the world's deadliest aviation accident that did not involve a crash. The crew performed a successful emergency landing after a fire broke out in the rear cargo hold. However the aircraft was not evacuated and all 301 passengers and crew died in the fire. On May 25, 1979, American Airlines Flight 191, following improper maintenance and the loss of an engine, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10-10, lost control and crashed near O'Hare International Airport in Des Plaines, Illinois. The crash killed all 271 passengers and crew on board, as well as two people on the ground. It remains the deadliest commercial aircraft accident in the United States history, and was also the country's deadliest aviation disaster until the September 11 attacks in 2001. On March 3, 1974, Turkish Airlines Flight 981, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10, crashed in a forest northeast of Paris, France. The London-bound plane crashed shortly after taking off from Orly Airport. All 346 people on board died. It was later determined that the cargo door detached, which caused an explosive decompression. This caused the floor just above to collapse. The collapsed floor severed the control cables, which left the pilots without control of the elevators, the rudder and number two engine. The plane entered a steep dive and crashed. It was the deadliest plane crash of all time until the Tenerife disaster in 1977. Safety. In over 100 years of implementation, aviation safety has improved considerably. In modern times, two major manufacturers still produce heavy passenger aircraft for the civilian market, Boeing in the United States of America, and the European company Airbus. Both place huge emphasis on the use of aviation safety equipment, now a billion-dollar industry in its own right. For each, Safety is a major selling point to Euro realizing that a poor safety record in the aviation industry is a threat to corporate survival. Some major safety devices now required in commercial aircraft involve, evacuation slide A's and a Euro aid rapid passenger exit from an aircraft in an emergency situation. Advanced avionics a Euro computerized auto recovery and alert systems. 
turbine engines a Euro durability and failure containment improvements. Landing gear a Euro that can be lowered even after loss of power and hydraulics. Measured on a passenger distance calculation, air travel is the safest form of transportation available. Figures mentioned are the ones shared by the air industry when quoting air safety statistics. A typical statement, for example, by the BBC, UK airline operations are among the safest anywhere. When compared to all other modes of transport, on a fatality per mile basis, air transport is the safest a Euro six times safer than travelling by car. Twice as safe as rail. However, when measured by fatalities per person transported, buses are the safest form of transportation. The number of air travel fatalities per person is surpassed only by bicycles and motorcycles. This statistic is used by the insurance industry when calculating insurance rates for air travel. Per every billion kilometers traveled, trains have a fatality rate 12 times over air travel. By comparison, fatality rates for automobiles are 62 times greater than air travel. By contrast, for every billion journeys, buses are the safest form of transportation. By the last measure, air transportation is three times more dangerous than car transportation, and almost 30 times more dangerous than bus. A 2007 study by Popular Mechanics found passengers sitting at the back of a plane are 40% more likely to survive a crash than those sitting in the front. Although this article quotes Boeing, the FAA and a website on aircraft safety, all claim there is no safest seat. The article studied 20 crashes, not taking into account the developments in safety after those accidents. However, a flight data recorder is usually mounted in the aircraft's impenage, where it is more likely to survive a severe crash. Over 95% of people in U.S. plane crashes, between 1983 and 2000, survived. ASRS The Aviation Safety Reporting System collects voluntarily submitted aviation safety incident situation reports from pilots, controllers and others. The ASRS uses reports to identify system deficiencies, issue alert messages, and produce two publication, callback, and ASRS direct line. The collected information is made available to the public, and is used by the FAA. NASA and other organizations working in research and flight safety. Statistics, Aircraft Crashes Record Office, the Aircraft Crashes Record Office, a non-government organization based in Geneva, compiles statistics on aviation accidents of aircraft capable of carrying more than six passengers, excluding helicopters, balloons, and combat aircraft. In 2008, ACRO announced that, in terms of number of accidents, 2007 was the safest year in aviation since 1963. Compared to 164 events in 2006, there were 136 registered accidents, resulting in a total of 965 deaths. Since then, both 2009 and 2010 saw fewer registered accidents. The lowest number of fatalities since the end of World War II was in 2004. The year with most fatalities was 2001, with 4,140 deaths. Those numbers may be less than the total aircraft accidents fatalities as ACRO only considers accidents in which the aircraft has suffered such damage that it is removed from service. Annual Aviation Safety Review The European Aviation Safety Agency is tasked by Article 15.4 of Regulation No. 216 2008 of the European Parliament and of the Council of February 20, 2008 to provide an annual review of aviation safety. The annual safety review presents statistics on European and worldwide civil aviation safety. Statistics are grouped according to type of operation, for instance, commercial air transport, and aircraft category, such as aeroplanes, helicopters, gliders, etc. The agency has access to accident and statistical information collected by the International Civil Aviation Organization. States are required, according to ICAO Annex 13, on aircraft accident and incident investigation, to report to ICAO information, on accidents and serious incidents to aircraft with a maximum certificated takeoff mass over 2250 a kg. Therefore, 
Most statistics in this review concern aircraft above this mass. In addition to the ICAO data, a request was made to the EASA member states to obtain light aircraft accident data. Furthermore, data on the operation of aircraft for commercial air transport was obtained from both ICAO and the NLR Air Transport Safety Institute. Investigation Annex 13 of the Chicago Convention provides the international standards and recommended practices that form the basis for air accident and incident investigations by signatory countries, as well as reporting and preventative measures. The International Civil Aviation Organization is specifically focused on preventing accidents, rather than determining liability. Australia, within Australia, the Australian Transport Safety Bureau is the federal government body responsible for investigating transport-related accidents and incidents, covering air, sea, and rail travel. Formerly an agency of the Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Local Government, in 2010, in the interests of keeping its independence it became a standalone agency. Brazil, in Brazil, the Aeronautical Accidents Investigation and Prevention Center was established under the auspices of the Aeronautical Accident Investigation and Prevention Center, a military organization of the Brazilian Air Force. The organization is responsible for the activities of aircraft accident prevention and investigation of civil and military aviation occurrences. Formed in 1971, and in accordance with international standards, CENIPA represented a new philosophy. Investigations are conducted with the sole purpose of promoting the prevention of aeronautical accidents. Canada, in Canada, the Transportation Safety Board of Canada, is an independent agency responsible for the advancement of transportation safety through the investigation and reporting of accident and incident occurrences in all prevalent Canadian modes of transportation a Euromarine, air, rail and pipeline. France, in France. The agency responsible for investigation of civilian air crashes is the Bureau d'Enquête et d'Analyses pour l'Azar Copyright Curator Copyright de l'Aviation Civile. Its purpose is to establish the circumstances and causes of the accident and to make recommendations for their future avoidance. Germany, in Germany, the agency for investigating air crashes is the Federal Bureau of Aircraft Accident Investigation. It is an agency of the Federal Ministry of Transport, Building and Urban Development. The focus of the BFU is to improve safety by determining the causes of accidents and serious incidents and making safety recommendations to prevent recurrence. Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, the Civil Aviation Department S Flight Standards and Airworthiness Division and Accident Investigation Division are charged with accident investigation involving aircraft within Hong Kong. Italy. Created in 1999 in Italy, the Agenzia Nazionale per la Sicurezza del Volo, has two main tasks, conducting technical investigations for civil aviation aircraft accidents and incidents, while issuing safety recommendations as appropriate, and conducting studies and surveys aimed at increasing flight safety. The organization is also responsible for establishing and maintaining the A Euro OE voluntary reporting system A Euro although not under the supervision of the Ministry of Infrastructure and Transport, the ANSV is a public authority under the oversight of the Presidency of the Council of Ministers of Italy. New Zealand, in New Zealand, the Transport Accident Investigation Commission, is responsible for the investigation of air accidents. The Commission A Euro is purpose as set out in its Act, is to determine the circumstances and causes of aviation, rail and maritime accidents, and incidents, with a view to avoiding similar occurrences in the future, rather than to ascribe blame to any person. The TAIC will investigate in accordance with Annex 13 of the ICAO, Russia, in Russia, the Interstate Aviation Committee is an executive body overseeing the use and management of civil aviation in the Commonwealth of Independent States. This organization investigates air accidents in the former USSR area under the umbrella of the Air Accident Investigation Commission of the Interstate Aviation Committee. United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, the agency responsible for investigation of civilian air crashes is the Air Accident Investigation Branch of the Department for Transport. Its purpose is to establish the circumstances and causes of the accident and to make recommendations for their future avoidance. 
United States, United States civil aviation incidents are investigated by the National Transportation Safety Board. NTSB officials piece together evidence from the crash site to determine likely cause, or causes. The NTSB also investigates overseas incidents involving U.S. registered aircraft, in collaboration with local investigative authorities, especially when there is significant loss of American lives, or when the involved aircraft is American-built. Retirement of flight numbers, it is common for an airline to cease using the flight number of a fatal crash, although that is not always the case. For example, Japan Airlines 123, American Airlines Flight 1, 11, and 77, Aeroflot Flight 593. Aeroflight 311, Iran Air Flight 655, United Airlines flights numbered 608, 624, 823, 175, and 93, El Ingus Flight 712, and U.S. Airways Flight 1016. See also, Category, 20th Century Aviation Accidents and Incidents, Category, 21st Century Aviation Accidents and Incidents, Lists of airliner accidents, by year, by airline, by location, by cause in alphabetical order, types of accidents, fuel tank explosion, mid-air collision, uncontrolled decompression, controlled flight into terrain, runway incursion, bird strike, shot down, list of aircraft structural failures, list of airship accidents, list of accidents and incidents involving commercial aircraft, List of accidents and incidents involving general aviation, category, aviation accidents and incidents by type, category, aviation accidents and incidents by aircraft, lists of military aircraft accidents, list of accidents and incidents involving military aircraft, list of aviation show outdowns and accidents during the Iraq War, list of coalition aircraft crashes in Afghanistan, list of C-130 Hercules crashes, Air safety, air safety, aviation archaeology, aviation authorities, International Civil Aviation Organization, European Aviation Safety Agency, Federal Aviation Administration, Civil Aviation Safety Authority, Argo and CIA National Diavia Picavolt Poundo Civil, Transport Canada, Civil Aviation Administration of China, Direction Gar Copyright Na Copyright Rail de l'Aviation Civile, Luftfahrt Bundesamt. Directorate General of Civil Aviation, Italian Civil Aviation Authority, Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand, Civil Aviation Authority of Pakistan, Civil Aviation Authority, see also Civil Aviation Authority, Other, Accident Analysis, Aircraft Hijacking, Disaster, List of Aircraft Show Outdowns, List of People Who Died in Aviation Accidents and Incidents, List of sole survivors of airline accidents or incidents, list of space disasters, list of air show accidents, list of news aircraft crashes, skydiving accident investigation, talk down aircraft landing, references. Bibliography USAF and NATO reporter TOTR015AC, HFM015, slash TP1. Further reading, S.A. Cullen M. Diefkpalthras. Injuries and Fatal Aircraft Accidents NATO External links, Aviation Safety Network established in 1996 The ASN Safety Database contains descriptions of over 12,200 airliner, military and corporate jet aircraft accidents incidents since 1943. National Transportation Safety Board Accident Database and Synopses, Aviation Accidents Web Source for Aviation Accidents Reports Aviation Statistics Statistical and Geospatial Analysis of General Aviation Accidents